right up there. I mean, it was our first stadium fight and uh, to actually have been involved in the whole journey from 12 months ago, from 2,000 to 4,000 to 15,000, it was incredible. The atmosphere was incredible. The whole town was behind him and uh, he delivered. It was a world title fight in a stadium in his hometown. And I mean, it's what it's what dreams are made of. And um, yeah, particularly proud of him and also thankful for Lawrence. You know, a lot of people don't realise that's a voluntary defence that's in his hometown. He stacked everything against him and gave us something spectacular in a, in a British stadium, a domestic world title. Um, yeah, very, very, very amazing that. When you look at Chris Story, it's really someone that sort of worked from the ground up and look now him and Shane working together. How good is that as a promoter when you see everyone working sort of from the ground up now, it's all paid off and he's got that WBO strap around his around his waist. Yeah, it's hard work and the first time you we first time we went and did the Chamberlain five doesn't sell out straight away. You're having to find ways to fill the venue and sell tickets and it's just been difficult and but then once we came here the momentum's been been unbelievable, I think. Um I have said up there, Shane deserves a huge amount of credit. I mean, people talk about, as I say, great fighters make great trainers, but no one would have believed Chris Miller Smith could be a world champion two, three years ago. The trust between the two of them, the game plan, is 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 impeccable, and and that's what boxing is about. It, it is a, as much as it's a, it, as much as it's a fighter in the ring on their own. It's it's teamwork and 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 unbelievable, um, for the whole stable. Obviously, one of them was particularly strange, but this is boxing and we see it a lot. And um, I'm just glad the right man won. I think when the right man wins, you can't have too many complaints. And um, yeah, that, that was it. What did you make of uh, Lawrence's performance, uh, particularly also the referee deducting the points? Was that fair, in your opinion? I thought the referee was fantastic. I thought he, uh, I thought he was authoritative. I thought he stayed in control. I thought he, he disciplined well. He could have, you know, many people will say he could have, he could have stopped the fight. Um, Lawrence won't be happy with that, but yeah, I thought he remained in control and he gave us 12 rounds, which we needed to see as well. And um, yeah, I thought he did really well. And your first stadium fight, did, what was the biggest challenge tonight? You Look, I think it was the first time Bournemouth have ever had a st uh, had a, an event this size. And so we're building from scratch. We're building the whole thing. And um, the team have done incredibly well. We learn a lot from it. A sellout stadium like this for a hometown hero. As a promoter, you can't do much more when you take on a fight like Chris Bill and Smith and you're able to deliver a hometown world title for him and, and produce a night like that. You can't do any more. And um, yeah, I'm really, really happy for him because no one deserves it more. And how much does the defeat hurt Lawrence? It will hurt him massively. I mean, he's been world champion now for a while. It's a huge, huge defeat and it's against a rival, a domestic rival, but he's a he's a tough guy and he's a tough guy mentally and, and as in boxing, you can always come back from a defeat and I expect him to.